Makers, today we're talking about switches. The new component on the bench today is the switch. Our switch looks very similar to our LED, except that it's orange, and instead of an LED on top, there is a toggle. Switches behave just like the key in our last lesson in a circuit. When the switch is in the on position, it's as though the key is touching the two contact points and the circuit is complete. When the switch is in the off position, it's as though you remove the key and the circuit is not complete. Let's draw our traces to get started. Now that our traces are drawn, let's populate it with our components. Let's turn our battery on to see how all this works. So with our battery in the on position, if we have our switch in the on position, our LED comes on. If we turn our switch off, the LED goes out. This is just like if we would have drawn the traces incorrectly and there was a gap in our line, then our LED would not work. You do this kind of thing all the time in your house when you would use the light switch in your bedroom. When you turn your switch on, your light comes on, and when you turn your switch off, your light goes off. You can make a switch that is not a mechanical switch, like this one is. You can make a switch just out of paper. Notice that I've intentionally left a gap in my circuit. The ink in the pen is conductive, we've already shown that. And when two conductive things touch, they allow current to flow. So I'm going to create my own switch by folding this paper and touching those two parts together. So we'll fold our paper and watch our LED come on. This is more of a button than a switch. It's in fact, it's called a momentary switch because it's only activated while I'm pushing it. Switches can help us learn about basic logic. The circuit I'm drawing right now is an AND gate. In an AND gate, both component A and component B have to be on in order for current to flow. So here's my circuit. I'll turn my battery on and my circuit scribe switch on. And notice nothing happens with my LED until I close my momentary switch. Switch A and switch B have to be activated in order for the current to flow. By contrast, in an OR gate, both switches do not have to be activated for current to flow. If you analyze this circuit, you can see that there are two paths for our current to flow, one through switch A and one through switch B. That makes this an OR gate because either A or B has to be on in order for our LED to come on. Let's look at that. We'll turn on our battery. If I turn on switch B, our LED comes on. If I turn off switch B and I fold the paper here to press switch A, our LED comes on. I can also do both and our LED stays on. So A or B has to be connected in order for our current to flow. I'm using cardstock and a stencil to make a custom circuit to help me decide whether or not I should play a video game. My circuit factors in the completion of homework and the completion of chores to help me decide whether or not I should play a video game. Let's see how it works. Turn on our power. If my homework is finished, I should play a video game. If my chores are done, I should play a video game. If they're both done, I should play a video game. Kind of don't think my mom's going to like this logic. The logic gate I've designed here is an OR gate, but I'm pretty sure the correct logic gate to use is an AND gate. Now that I've made an AND gate, you can see I've only drawn one path for the current to flow. So both switches have to be activated in order for my light to come on. So let's play out my scenario again. Should I play a video game? My homework is finished. My chores are not done. Doesn't look like I should play a video game. My homework is finished and my chores are done. I should play a video game. If my chores are done and my homework is not finished, I shouldn't play a video game. I think my mom is going to approve of this circuit much, much more. Thanks to CircuitScribe for sponsoring this series of educational videos. All of the components shown in this video are available for sale on the CircuitScribe website. Use code for Bowie Makers to get 15% off.
Also on the website is troubleshooting help if you have any problems with your pen or any of the components, and you can sign up for their live classes. I'm Ms. Burbawi. Tune in next time to learn about resistance.